YouTube fam, Coach Rye here, back with another podcast. I, I want to talk about he may he may treat you good, but does he value you? And there's a difference between treating somebody good and valuing them. Um, a man can treat you good, but does he value you? When a man values you, it's on a different level than just treating you good. You know, uh, for an example, you know, he may treat you good by, you know, <clears throat> I'm going to say this here before I get too deep into it. And what made me do this video, because um, this podcast, um, I was talking to a client of mine, and um. So I asked her, like, does he value you? She said, well, he treat me good. Uh, that's the thing. I said, yeah, that's the thing. He treat you good, but does he value you? And I said, you can't answer that question. Then, you know, obviously he don't value you. You see what I'm saying? He don't value you. Um So a man could treat you good. And, and then, you know, she was saying, you know, you know, he works, he helped me pay the bills, you know, um, we do stuff together sometimes, we have fun together. But see, that just that's not that's not being valued. Yeah, that's being treated good. He worked, pay the bills and all this here. But watch this. But this man this man see you going to work in South Florida with no air conditioning in your car. In the hot sun in South Florida. Y'all live together. They not married. They not married. But y'all live together. Y'all live together. And y'all engage. They not married. So that's not his wife. But. If a woman is engaged to a man. And they live together. And he living in her place. He, he moved in her place. And if that man does not try to get her air conditioning fixing her car, he does not value her. He may treat her good. But when the man value you, he going to go above and beyond. See, treating a woman good, that just being average. They're doing the basic things. Okay, working. Y'all paying the bills together. You know, Getting along sometimes, not all the time. Sometimes they get along, they do stuff together, but yet it's still he disregards your feelings. You know, when you telling him how you feel, he you know he he he, he acting nonchalant. That's not valuing you. When a, when a man values you, they gonna they gonna they gonna have regard for your feelings. When you tell them something like, hey, I feel like this, when you do that, you know, you really, like, make me feel some type of way. You hurt me. You know, I don't like when you do that. When a man value you, he's going to make some adjustments. <laughs> he's going to say, gonna say, okay, baby, I'm sorry, I didn't know. And then he's going to make some adjustments. But yet it's still a man, and he can say, oh, you pretty, oh, you beautiful, all that stuff. Oh, he, he can go to work. Help you pay bills. He can do all that right there. But yet and still, you keep telling this man over and over again what he's doing that you don't like. And he keep on doing it. That's not valuing you. And that's what I'm trying to get a lot of women to understand. Like, you deserve to be valued, not just treated good. You deserve to be valued. Another, watch this, another thing about, um, the, the difference between being valued and being treated good. When the man value you, he's going to be consistent. When the man that's treating you good, <clears throat> he's going to be off and on. You know, one minute y'all y'all real good, the next minute, you know, <clears throat> he calling you a name, calling you you know stupid, disregarding your feelings again. That's the thing. That's just being treating you good, but valuing you. Is he gonna be consistent? You know, um, even even when you might get on his nerve, you might do something that he don't like. 
but he still love you though and he gonna value though value you and he not gonna hold a grudge against you you see what i'm saying and that's the thing you know back to the you know the woman that, that you know i was coaching you know holding a grudge getting mad shutting down that's not valuing you you know inconsistency when a man values you he's going to be consistent you know every day he's going to be you know pretty much the same you know it, see what i'm saying a lot of y'all being treated good in my opinion being treated good just average just average you know just, he's just doing the basic things but again back to okay he's gonna pay the bills but he see you riding in in the car and the car had an air condition and he can't get the car the air condition fixed now i'm gonna say this right here if he can't afford to fix the air condition in your car y'all ain't gonna like him today maybe some man ain't gonna like me today but i don't give a rest behind if you can't afford to fix the air conditioning in your car, I, I will not marry him. I will not marry him. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't gonna like me today. Let me say this again. Let me say it loud so the ones in the back can hear. If he can't afford to fix your air conditioning in your car, he you should not be engaged to that man and you should not marry that man. Because that man is not a leader and he is not a head. Again, they engage and he live in her place. Even though they're not married. But he become obligated when they living together, especially he living in her place, he become obligated to make sure she got air conditioning in her car. Now, if they weren't living together, but they were just in a relationship, He's not really obligated to fix her car. But guess what? If he really, really loves you, and if he really, really value you, even though he's not obligated, he's going to make sure that your car get fixed, get and put in that car. Listen, he ain't got to go to no, um, no, no, no dealership. You just say you, just say you got a, I'm just going to say a Chevy Malibu. You may have a Chevy Malibu. He ain't got to go to the Chevy dealer. You may have your Dodge Charger. He ain't got to go to the Dodge dealer. You may have your Nissan. He ain't got to go to the Nissan. I don't care if he go to a mom and pop mechanic. You got some mom and pop mechanic. I'll tell you what I know. I did it before. Can do a $2,000 air conditioning job. And you can pay him by $1,100. For a two thousand dollar air conditioning job, and he gonna do just as good as the guy that gonna do it at the dealership. The dealership gonna charge you an arm and a leg. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Now listen, listen. Now, some y'all might be like, "Ah, oh, I don't want no, 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 uh, mama pot doing my car." You can't be like that as a woman. You know what I'm saying? But if this man is gonna be your husband, y'all engage. This man, he at least could take your car to a mom and pop. And, and a lot of times, them mom and pop could do a better job than, than them dealerships. Now, if he can't afford, if he that, that's if he can't afford it. Like, you know, he a regular man. He ain't no six-figure dude. He making 50000 a year, 60000 a year. He got his bills. You see what I'm saying? He got his car. He got to pay the payment on his car and insurance. He got his rent. So, you know, you got to take that due consideration. So, but what I'm saying there, he, I'm just saying he don't have to. Now, listen to what I'm saying. Y'all take stuff the wrong way. So I, I got to explain stuff to y'all the right way. I'm not saying he have to do that. But I'm saying even if he can afford to take it to a good mechanic, the name brand places, they're going to charge more money. But even if he try to take it to somewhere, somewhere like a mama pop garage, that's gonna charge cheaper. You see what I'm saying? Even if he do that, okay, at least he doing something. At least he doing something. He like, babe, I can't hear you right around in that hot car. 
Let me, uh, you know, I can't afford to take it down the street to the, uh, the name brand place. But let me see what this man can do down the street down here, right here on, um, you know, the Mama Pop Bendy. Take to the Mama Pop, get an estimate. He might say eleven hundred dollar. Okay, just say he ain't got the whole eleven hundred. Just say he ain't got the whole eleven hundred. He might say, "Babe, I ain't got the whole eleven, but I got, I got, I got seven hundred. I got seven hundred, or I got eight hundred. Can you pay the the rest? Can you afford the rest? You see what I'm saying? At least do something like that right there. Ain't no excuse." Y'all ain't, but see, this is why this is why society don't like me. Because I'm teaching how a woman supposed to be treated. When the man got an engagement ring on your finger, especially if y'all live it together, he if he values you, he is gonna make sure you have reliable transportation and you're not riding around in a hot car in South Florida. He gonna make it happen. And again, if you can't afford to get your air conditioner fixed in your car, he ain't ready to be no man. He ain't ready to be no man. When a man values a woman, he gonna make sure she got AC in her car. But that same man, watch this, that same man, he good to her. But he don't value her, but he's on top of her making noise and they ain't even married. If you're a woman, if you're a woman and you got a man on top of you making noise and that man cannot fix your aggregation, you are settling and that man does not value you and he don't deserve you. He don't deserve you. You deserve a whole lot better than that. And how dare you as a woman, how dare you as a queen, let a man see you riding around in a hot car and this man don't get your air conditioning fixed. And you let that same man get on top of you. So you might you might well be you might well be single. Cause when you were single, when your car broke down, or well, you needed something done to your car, you couldn't afford to do it. So now you got a man and you still can't afford to do it. Why in the heck you got a man for? Why you got a man and you still struggling? It don't make no sense to have a man and you still struggling. Come on, y'all ain't one here today. Why you got a man and you still struggling? Why you got a man if a man can't upgrade you? In the same time as you upgrade, as he upgrade your life, you upgrade his life. As he make your life easier, you make his life easier. It go both ways. But the man ought to leave first. The man is the head. The man ought to leave first. And then you reciprocate. He leave first, then you reciprocate. What, what I mean by that? He fits your air conditioning. Again, y'all living together. All right? Shouldn't be living together, but I know everybody not a Christian. Everybody ain't going to do right. But they living together, and they engage. He makes sure the air conditioning get fixed. They living together. She makes sure the man have a hot meal. You see what I'm saying? Something like that. I'm just using an example. He makes sure her, her car running good, her had extra fix. She makes sure, you know, the man got a clothes wash, reciprocating. You see what I'm saying? But if you were the man and you washing that man clothes, you cooking for that man, you doing all, you doing all that right here, and this man can't even fix your air conditioning in your car. He, he don't value you. He just being good. You just being average. When the man value you, he goes above and beyond average. He go above and beyond average. He gonna treat you like a queen. 
When the man value you, he's going to see you as a treasure. When the man value you, he's going to respect you. When the man values you, he's going to treat you like the wicker vessel. When the man values you, watch this. When the man values you, and I ain't, I ain't, and I ain't ask that woman there right here. But I guarantee you, she got to go put gas in her car. They living together. They engaged. If I was living with a woman, if I was engaged to a woman, even though we weren't married, even though we're not married, but she ain't going to have to go put no gas in her car. Because you know why? I value her. She can go do it herself. Yes, yeah, she can. Ain't nothing wrong with her. But if she can do it herself, she might as well just be single. When she got a man, they can take some load off of her and take some stress off of her. Now, how many women would say, I would love to be not able to go to the gas station and pump gas and put gas in my car. I would love to have a man to do that for me. The woman I be with, long as I got something, I want her to be like, man, ever since I've been with my man, I ain't been to the gas station since then. Like, dang, that man, that, that's, that's how you being valued. That's that what I call it, being, being valued. He treating you like the weaker vessel. Yes, you can do it yourself, but because he honors you. See, what it means to treat the woman like the weaker vessel, it means to treat her like she's fragile. She could do it herself. It means to treat her like she's a treasure, though. He ain't going to let you do it. When the man value you, he ain't going to let you do it yourself. Because you've been doing it yourself ever since you've been single. Ever since you've been single, you've been doing everything yourself. You're tired of being strong. You're tired of doing everything yourself. Why you got a man in your life and you still doing everything yourself or the majority of stuff yourself? Why you got a man in your life who wants to marry you and you still stress out? You might well be by yourself. You see what I'm saying? When a man values you, He's going to treat you like the weaker vessel. What it mean to treat the woman like the weaker vessel? I said it before. I'm going to say it again. I may got some new subscribers, so I'm repeating myself. I, I read that scripture over and over again, and I just said, okay, weaker vessel. But I said, Lord, give me, a, give me the revelation of that. What you really, really mean by treat the woman like the weaker vessel? And I struggled with it. I, I wanted God to get go deeper. I just wanted something deeper with it. I Google it. Google didn't really make no sense. One day the Lord dropped in my spirit. You remember? Remember when you working at UPS, and you remember certain packages that was <laughs> expensive and all that, easy to break. They had a white and red label on it. Fragile, handle with care. And that's when the revelation went off in my head. That's what it means to treat the woman as the weaker vessel. It means to treat her like she's delicate. You can't be rough with the package. You, if you pick up the package and throw it down, you're going to break the package. That means you got to be easy with the package. That means you got to value the package. That means you got to make sure that it's important, that, that, that what's in this package is important. You got to protect the package. Come on, somebody. That's what the Lord dropped in my spirit about treating the woman as the weaker vessel. And that's what it means to value a woman. Treat her like she are the weaker vessel. It's a big difference between a man treating you good than a man valuing you. Understand that right there. Does he value you? Uh, let me get let me get, get on off here. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get somebody in trouble with they um with they woman because y'all gonna hear this this podcast. You don't value me. You don't do that here, then y'all gonna be about to break up. But well, this is what I gotta do. I gotta teach y'all how you supposed to be treated. And if I got some man watching, stop complaining, stop, stop complaining, stop crying, shut your mouth and man up and value the woman. And I guarantee she's gonna reciprocate. She's gonna respect you and submit to you. Stop crying and man up and treat her like a queen and value the woman. Now, if you do that, men who watch and she does not respect you and honor you and reciprocate, that is not your wife. You move on. Because when you meet your wife, when you treat her like a weaker vessel, when you value her, she's going to reciprocate. 
Hey, God bless y'all. We'll talk soon. The link for my book going to be in the description box. And also, if you want to book a session, the link going to be in the description box as well. If you want to send a blessing, free will, that, that information going to be in the description box as well. Hey, it's tight, but it's right. He may treat you good, but does he value you? God bless y'all. Talk to y'all soon.